A healthy ultrasound, relief for an expectant mother. It's not always the case, and genetic birth defects can be seen as early as 12 weeks. When scans highlight a problem, there are few options. Open the mother up and perform surgery on the fetus, highly dangerous, and can leave the mother unable to have more children, or in certain cases, perform keyhole surgery. Scientists in London are designing tools to increase the options and allow complicated but vital surgery on unborn babies. This technology is going to help us to be cleverer, to be able to do it uh, less invasively earlier in pregnancy and probably have a better long-term outcome for the babies that we treat. Surgery to repair holes in the heart or spina bifida, where the spinal cord grows outside of a baby's body, are often too risky to even contemplate. Surgeons usually will only operate when there's a real threat that the baby or babies will die. Already some womb surgery takes place. For instance, this procedure to balance the blood and nutrients between two twins. Doctors say there's much more they could do though if they had the right tools. Those tools are being designed here at University College London. It's a seven year, $17 million project funded by the British government and the Wellcome Trust. More prototypes and further research is ahead, but one day a tiny flexible probe will go through the mother's skin and into the uterus. It will carry a camera, a scalpel, or a laser, and will be assisted by a robotic arm, which will compensate for even the slightest tremor in a surgeon's hand. Like all keyhole surgery, doctors have to rely on cameras to see what they're doing. The challenge is even greater because of the tiny space and poor visibility. One wrong move can damage the unborn baby. You are within the uterus, you've got a lot of challenging um, uh, things happening around uh, and you need to be able not only to take care of the fetus but as well to take care of the health of the mum. So, so it does make the entire environment far more challenging and the tools we have to use have to be as small as possible. Robotics to compensate for unsteady hands, microengineering for tiny bones and veins, all coming together to reduce the risk of womb surgery and revolutionize fetal medicine. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.